Hey, what's up guys? Josh here, I'm here with Coach Katie. We're gonna go over this week's mobility routine. So, for this one, we're gonna start down on the floor. So let's go down, and we're gonna go into our side lying position here. So, Katie's laying on her right side, her right arm's underneath her here. She's bringing her left arm, or excuse me, left leg to that 90 degree bend here. If you have a foam roll and you're doing this at home, you can press that foam roller right underneath here. And now we're gonna go open up here. We're gonna do our side lying rotation with a rib pull. So Katie's gonna hug her ribs with her left arm here, so she's hugging those right ribs. Deep breath in, and then she's gonna open up, pulling that shoulder down toward the floor here. And when she goes as far as she feels comfortable, she's gonna get another nice deep breath. And as she pushes the air out, she's gonna pull that shoulder a little bit more, just pulling at those ribs. And now she's gonna come all the way back in. She's gonna start over, another deep breath in. As she pushes that air out, she's gonna open up here, making sure that her knee doesn't come up too high here. She's trying to maintain that position where she's not over-rotating through her lower back. Another deep breath, push that air out, try to go just a little bit further. She's also looking with her eyes where she's trying to go. Bring it back in, she's gonna do one more. So from there, she doesn't have to do that one more. You wanna do one more, KK? No, I'm good. You're literally about to fall asleep. She's, <laughs> tired. she's tired, okay. I'm very tired. From there, we're gonna go into our prone uh, YTA. So, Pulling your chest up off the floor, squeeze those glutes tight, bring those feet together, they can come up off the floor if that feels okay with your lower back. And now we're gonna pull up into that wide position, think about squeezing those shoulder blades. Katie, tuck your chin. There we go, perfect. Now she's gonna pull back into that T position here, squeezing those shoulder blades. And now she's gonna pull down into that A position. Notice how her thumbs, her palms are turned out, her thumbs are turned up. She's actually externally rotating through those shoulders. Now she's gonna sweep back through and then open up wide. A deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth in each position. Squeeze those shoulders and pull that chest up. If you're feeling too much tension in your lower back, just go ahead and relax your chest on the floor here as you're working. Come back up if you feel like you can at some point. So you're going to go through those, about, uh, use about five or six repetitions through all three. Then we're going to come up to our quadruped or tabletop position. And Katie's going to go to our bear squat now. So she's going to bring those knees just up off the floor. And now she's going to drive her hands into the floor, piking up nice and high, pushing her chest down towards her toes. Her heels are getting pushed down toward the floor. And then she's going to come back down just above the floor with those knees. And then drive back up, pushing that air out, pushing your chest forward. Deep breath in. Hike up nice and high, holding each position for just a second, then coming back down. Then from there, Katie's going on that last rep. She's just walking her hands back toward her toes. She's going to straighten up. And we're going to do some five-point squats to finish up here. So reaching high overhead. One, we reach for our toes. Two, we're going to pull that butt down toward the floor. Three, we're going to push those knees apart, opening up those hips. Four, we're reaching high overhead. Four and a half, we're gonna smile. Five, we're gonna drive straight back up. Let's do one more form, KK. One to the toes, two, pull that butt down, three. Pushing those knees apart, four, reaching up high overhead, four and a half. And we're gonna hold it for a deep breath. Oh, and then drive back <laughs> up, there we go. Okay, we'll go through that twice for this routine. Great job, KK. Thank you.